Hi, welcome once again. And the, the previous video we started looking at the nth derivative of functions. Okay, it was for a purpose. You see. Today we want to look at the product of two functions. So it will happen that we have two functions, be f of s and g of s, and we want to find the derivative product of those two functions. Sometimes it becomes a little bit difficult when we have to find higher derivative of products of two functions. So it becomes a, quite a, a task. But thank God that uh, the bliss is there. So he came out with a certain theory that uh, we can use to find the nth derivative of products of functions. So we want to state the theory okay, and see how it can be applied. Okay. So it's saying that. Um, if u of x, so you know it's a function, u of x, and if u of x and uh, v of x are n times differential, it means that for u of x, you can find its derivative or the it nth derivative, and uh, v of x, you can find its uh, nth derivative. So if u of x and v of x are n times differentiable differentiable so if they are n times differentiable then their products so their products will look like u of x v of x so it is also n times differentiable It's also n times differential. And that is given by, uh, so that is, we can find the nth derivative of this. So we have something like this u of x, v of x. Alright, so we are finding, alright, so. The, the product is also n times differential, which we can write like this. So the product of this is being differentiated n times. And this particular one is, is equal to, so we are looking at uh, the summation uh, of uh, all this n r. Okay, so d r u of s. So dx r multiplied by d n minus r v of s. So you have dx n minus r. From r equals 0 to n. And so this is the, the, the Leibniz theorem for products of, uh, for differentiating products of functions. Means that when you have two functions, u of s, v of s, which are which are n times differentiable, then their product is also n times differentiable, and this is given as a. So it means that we take the first function, then we are looking at its derivative. So we have r, so we are differentiating this one r times. But the whole thing is being differentiated n times. So we have the first one like this, the second one in that order. So let's take. Uh, a case. Okay, so there are a lot of cases. Let's take a case and see how we, we look at this. Thing. So let's assume that n is equal to one. So if n is one, well, how, so what derivative are we finding if n is one? Okay. Oh, okay. Then you are going to say that it's just the first derivative because when n is one, we put one here. So it means we are differentiating only once. Okay, so when n is 1, it means that we're going to have v dx of these two functions, u of x, v of x, to be equal to. So let's try and state this. So it means we're looking at the sum. Alright, then we have n, r. So this is combination. So n combination r. Okay, then. I'm um, going to have D, uh, what is there? So, you have D, 
R, we have U of S, then uh, yes R multiplying B N minus R. Action. All right, so we have all these things here and there. We realize that R begins from zero to N. Okay. But this time around, our N is not one. We are looking at case where N is one. So we're going to have summation one. All right, so we are looking at it one. So you see, R begins from where zero. So it means that we're going to have this place is zero. And so we have something like that. So so, this one, you are just doing from 0 to 1. So, you come here, it means you're going to have B. So, our R is 0. Good. So, our R here is 0. We have this place with 0. So, is it putting 0 here means that we are not going to differentiate this particular one. So we are not differentiating this. Means we are just putting okay, just do the substitution. U of x. So this is zero. Then multiplied by so here we are b. So n is one. Our r is zero. So it means that this place is going to be one. V D S, this place will be one. We have V of what X. Alright, so we are moving in that way. So the first case it gives us this. So let's see. Okay, so we just ignore the summation sign because the sign is here already. It means we are moving from um, 0 to N. So, but if you look at this, it's going to be one um, combination 0. So one combination 0 gives us what? Uh, one. We have one here. Going to multiply this. So this, the, if it is zero derivative, it means we are not differentiating the function. So we just keep it as it is. So we have this particular one here. So this gives us u of x, which is multiplied by. So we are going to differentiate it once. When we differentiate once, so it's not going to give us. Uh, B prime of what? X. Now remember it's about summation. So we just look at the first case when R is 0. But R begins from 0 up to, uh, to N. So let's move on and look at where it becomes what? Uh, it gets to 1. So we wrote this one now. Then we come to look at where our R has reached what? 1. Because it begins from 0 to, to 1. So we have this now becoming one combination what one because r now has moved from zero to that so you have that so r is one means that you're going to have d d x of uh, u of x then multiply by so our r is one n2 is one if it subtracts this place gives us zero so it means that um, if it is zero So this will become 0 of v of x. What it means is that 1 combination 1 gives us 1 multiplied by the derivative of this. So we are having u prime of x multiplied by 0 derivative means we are not differentiating the function. So we just keep it as we see. Alright, so we, we have reached our limits. You can continue again because r begins from 0 and ends as what? 1. So now our r is 1, so we end it. But it's about summation, we are adding. So when we say that d um, u of x, v of x, and x, then so we are looking at the first derivative which is equal to u prime of x 
plus, uh, so you have multiplying V of S plus U of S multiplying V prime of X. So you get adding this equation to this equation. Uh, these two, and it gives us the product of this function. And from differential calculus, we realize that what we are multiplying, if the two functions are multiplying, we want to find the derivative, first derivative. We say that, okay, you differentiate one first holding the other one constant. Then we hold the other one constant and differentiate there. And that is the case. So, we shall meet again to look at uh, real um, functions, two functions multiplying. And uh, we see how we apply this particular theory, this Leibniz theory, to solve uh, those questions. And to then keep looking for questions of that nature. Once we prepare to look at the next video where we discuss those things in detail. Alright, so thank you very much.